Transforming Linear Functions. Our objective is to describe how changing slope and y-intercept affect the graph of a linear function. Who uses this? Business owners can use transformations to show the effects of price changes. Some vocabulary to know. A family of functions is a set of functions whose graphs have basic characteristics in common. A parent function is the most basic function in a family. For example, for linear functions, the parent function is f of x equals x. This is when you would start at 0, and then you'd go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and you would draw a nice linear function. So it's the most basic. The graph didn't get shifted up, down, left, right, rotated, reflected. It's the most basic, so it's the parent function. A transformation is a change in the position or size of a figure. So when you move your function, for example, you're creating a transformation. So there are three different types. You have a translation, a rotation, and a reflection. A translation is a type of transformation that moves every point the same distance in the same direction. You can think of it like a slide. A rotation is a transformation about a point. It's like turning something. Okay, so like a clock hand rotates about a point. A reflection is a transformation across a line that produces a mirror image. Think of it like a reflection in the mirror. When you wave your right hand at the mirror, it kind of looks like you're waving your left hand back. It's like flipping things around. So now let's take a little bit more of a mathematical look at this. So a vertical translation of a linear function is when the y-intercept so y equals mx plus b, this should look familiar. It's when this b is either moved up or down. If it was 0, it would go through the origin, just like this blue line here. As soon as you add 3, your function moves up 3. If you go minus 2, your function will move down 2. Okay, so... If b is smaller, then you go down. If b is larger than 0, you move up. Let's practice. So we're going to graph our parent function, and then we're going to graph g of x when g of x equals x minus 5. When we see that, then we're going to describe the transformation. So let's draw those two lines in. All right, so the orange one represents f of x, the parent function, the most basic function. And our g of x is the blue, which represents our x minus 5. So now if we look at the transformation, it looks like the graph shifted down 5 units. So it was a translation. down 5 units. Take a moment and try this next one on your own. When you return to the video, the answer will be revealed. So f of x is the orange one, so that was x plus 4, so it started 4 up from our origin. And g of x is the blue line, and it started 2 down from our origin. So the translation from f of x to g of x would be a translation down 6 units. Now let's look at rotation. Rotation of a linear function is when the slope m is changed in the function. So we just talked about, hey, it's like the same as y equals mx plus b. 
Well, if you change the slope, it's going to make the graph steeper or less steep. So your parent function is this blue one in the middle. Okay, so it just goes up one over one. All right, so now let's look at this red one. So now the slope is three instead of one. So it's much steeper because you would have to go up three over one. And the purple one is less steep because you're going up one over two because your slope is one half. Let's try a couple of examples. So we want to figure out which one is steeper, f of x or g of x. So take a moment and graph both f of x and g of x on the grid. So our orange is f of x, so that would be the x plus 2. And our blue is g of x, so that would be 2x plus 2. Well, they rotate about the point, so they rotate about the point 0, 2. And your g of x got steeper. So g of x got steeper. Try this next one on your own. When you return to the video, the answer will be revealed. So once again, our orange is f of x, our blue is g of x, and they rotated about the point 0, negative 1, and g of x is less steep. Let's look at reflection now. This is when the slope m is multiplied by negative 1. So if we look below, if we were to ignore that, it would have just said 2x and 2x. They would have been the same line. But to make them reflect, you're going to have to multiply it by negative 1. So 1 is negative, 1 is positive, and the rest are the same. So let's look at an example. So. Graph f of x, then reflect the graph of f of x across the y-axis. Write a function, g of x, to describe the new graph. So take a moment and draw in the two graphs. Alright, so f of x is our parent function in orange, and g of x is us reflecting it across the y-axis. Well, the slope, everything is the same, except it's negative. So g of x would be simply negative x. Let's try this next one. So take a moment and draw this function and then reflect it across the y-axis. All right, so the orange function is our f of x and g of x is our blue. It's been reflected over the y-axis. If we try to write the equation for this line, the intercept would be negative 1. We'd still have our x that goes, as, that goes with our uh, slope. And this time we go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1. So 4. The only difference between f of x and g of x, this one was negative and this one is positive. Let's look at a business application. A trophy company charges $175 for a trophy plus 20 cents per letter for the engraving. The total charge for a trophy with x letters is given by the function f of x equals 0.20x plus 175. How will the cost or how will the graph change if the trophy's cost is lowered to 172? And if the charge per letter is raised to 50 cents? So let's look at our functions here. So this blue line here 
is f of x, so that's this function here. So let's look at our first question. How will the graph change if the trophy's cost is lowered to 172? Well, if the initial cost is lowered to 172, well, the red one is going to be a translation down three units, or in this case, three dollars. And now, if we look at our green line here, it doesn't change the starting value or the cost of the trophy, but it does change how much each letter costs. So two letters would be a dollar, so it is steeper. So it's a rotation about the point zero one seventy five and it is steeper. Let's look at multiple transformations of linear functions. So let's start by graphing f of x and g of x. Alright, so let's start with translation. The graph translated up one unit And then it got steeper. So, and then it got steeper. Try this next one on your own. When you return to the video, the answer for the entire thing will be revealed. So, our original function is the orange f of x, and our g of x is the blue and it translated up two units and reflected across the y-axis. And that ends our lesson on transforming linear functions.